Welcome back. Millions of people go online every day. And uh, uh, the whole world entered this lockdown. The usage of internet, it's not double, it's tripled, and maybe used for 10 times more than usual. But this is a double sister weapon. Sometimes the internet or going online can give you the most important instructions, preventive and precautionary measures, and good instructions, everything. And some other times there are rumors and fake reports. But first of all, let's have a quick look on the percentage of people who are illiterate with internet or internet technology. What's the percentage? Uh, what should we do? Is there any free websites, for example, which can teach us what to do to reach the authentic websites and to get more authentic information or data about anything? And most important these days about this COVID-19 outbreak, well, to answer all these questions and more, we are very much delighted to have with us Dr. Yahya Zakaria, member of the National Research Center. Thank you very much for being with us, sir. Thank you very much. Let's start with these questions I, uh, I, I had before, before being with you. Uh, starting with the Internet, how do you see people here using the Internet in Egypt and to what extent I can depend on the Internet as an authentic source of having my data or information? Uh, okay, first of all, uh, it's my pleasure to be with you at, in this meeting at your channel, and you, this sir. is my pleasure. Okay, returning back to our conversation, from my point of view that uh, Internet, using the Internet nowadays is very important and very essential, and uh, I guess uh, the percentage in uh, our country in Egypt that they are using uh, the Internet or electronic learning, it's about, I think, maybe it could be like 60 percent, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I hope that uh, we will be in the better, you know. Regarding the situation we are in or the whole world uh, is in, it, I mean, combating coronavirus, living in fears for more infections uh, which are uh, recorded every single day worldwide. I'm not speaking only about here in Egypt. Do you think that uh, with this situation or this crisis, did it increase the awareness of people regarding the Internet or how much it's important for them to learn how to use the internet to get more information? Uh, okay, I think that, you know, by the way, this is the most important fact for us that all people or everything and w electronic uh, learning and education before uh, Corona will be different after Corona, you know. But it's important nowadays that we are going to use uh, electronic uh, like learning and we can be like uh, use more uh, devices for this like tablet like video conference like some some of this you know and is, um, do we have any free uh, websites for example to teach us you know by the way uh, okay uh, there are many or it's only on YouTube or mm. just right um, Teach me how to do so and so. It's gonna, it's gonna come with, with no, it's such not like this. positive results. I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, it's not like this. By the way, Google have everything, you know, mm -hmm. and on the YouTube. And there are, in the fact that there are many uh, European universities that are dealing with uh, internet and learning, uh, electronic learning, you know, since uh, I think since uh, long, uh, long time, you know, and you can study you even if you're bachelor, master or PhD degree uh, online, you know, mm -hmm. and you get the certificate, everything. This is more reliable and more better, you know, to have these educations because we are saving time in this, we are saving efforts and everything. And I think it could be more either and cheaper, you know. Yeah. Sir, but you are a specialist when it comes to communication engineering. So if any simple person, I mean the layman in the street, comes to you and would you please, sir, would you please, doctor, give me something to, um, to learn more because he or she is eager to learn more. Because now the kids, they do know more than their parents. Yes. And they are acquainted with these devices you've, uh, devices you've kindly mentioned more than their parents. If you want to give simple steps to anyone what to do, try and error? Uh, no, not try and error exactly, but on this way we can uh, like mention that 
we have to use the internet, we have to use uh, browsing for Google, you know, we have to use uh, many uh, like tools for this, like tablet, like uh, video conference and everything. But uh, the main most important idea that we have to uh, like improve uh, the usage of internet with not kids only, but only, but also, sorry, for, uh, for parents, you know, for teachers, for uh, everything, you know, because it is very important, you know. So the old Google is our resort by the end of the day. Yes, yes, by the way, uh, this is the fact, you know. Yeah. Well, digital learning has been part of the education reform strategy for three years here in Egypt. Now, through launching Ed, Ed Modo website to help teachers and students to have uh, better communication coins um, and it was by chance or a coincidence after the breakdown of um, COVID-19 students resorted to online learning. Let's go to know more details through this report about how the students and teachers are now uh, enjoying better communication because of an outbreak. Since the outbreak of the coronavirus COVID-19, 1,000.37 billion students around the world became affected by school and university closures in over 130 countries. School shutdown has been extended until further notice and final exams for primary and preparatory students have been cancelled. The coronavirus crisis has inspired ministers and leaders to contemplate new approaches to learning in the coming age. On the 10th of March, an online meeting of education ministers was organized by the UNESCO, consisting of representatives from 11 countries, Costa Rica, Croatia, Egypt, France, Iran, Italy, Japan, Mexico, Nigeria, Peru and Senegal. During the meeting, UNESCO Director General announced the establishment of a global COVID-19 education coalition where experts are joined to support national educational responses and explore new ways to learning. In Egypt, the education ministry has been trying to extend online learning to all students. Digital learning has been part of the education reform strategy for three years now, launching the Edomodo website to help teachers and students better communicate. On the 19th of March, the government announced that it has partnered with the Edomodo online learning platform to provide educational material for the country's K-12 student body. The Ministry of Education said that more progress was achieved with digital and distance learning in the past 10 days than in the past 10 years. It added that this crisis will change the way we think about the provision of education in the future. Welcome back. Dr. Zakaria, the rapid transformation to uh, online learning uh, is really troubling many of the parents thinking that their kids are not going to benefit from uh, the learning um, the e-learning or the online learning process as if they were going to schools and universities so how to make them feel a little bit secure and safe how to increase the capabilities and skills of our uh, of our students to make them able to pass their academic year maybe even more efficient um, than being um, with the normal way of joining classes and lectures and, and so. You know, nowadays, no one can delay, can deny that. It's mandatory to use uh, electronic uh, learning, you know, and internet in usage. But the most important that the parents, for an example, they have to follow and control their kids, their students, and they have to guide them. Even if the teachers at school, they have to guide them for what is the useful information, how can I browse through the internet, you know, because the internet now is make the world is like a small era, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, teachers plus uh, parents, they have to manage these situations by control them, advise them, show them how to browse uh, through the internet, how mm -hmm. to make browsing and extract mm -hmm. the useful and the exact equations or the exact topics which I want to see, you know. Mm -hmm and uh, regarding the policy working from home yeah uh, to, to be honest with you this is the fact now you know mm -hmm. because in the university now 
for uh, higher educations, you know, and for secondary, for example, educations, mm -hmm. uh, they have to take it like from video conference, from group through Skype or whatever, what's, you yeah. know, and you have to use this, you know, it would be, for example, nowadays more safer, you know, and more either and more preferable, you know, and it more uh, cheaper, you know, because, for sure. example, I can give you one example that in Europe, for example, if uh, someone book a ticket uh, for train, for whatever, you know, any mm -hmm. things of transportation through online, it uh, would be more cheaper than to be in face to face, you know. Mm -hmm. And sir, so also uh, state institutions, uh, even the ministries, Minister of Tur Ministry of Tourism, of Higher Education, of Culture, uh, I mean, many um, of, of these uh, state institutions, they already turned or uh, moved to uh, this side of the world. The um, being online and to do everything online. And I think that uh, what, as you've kindly mentioned, after COVID-19 is not going to be like before. And we are going to continue the same way. True? Yeah, this is the truth. I mean, you know. in a more expanded way? Uh, I think more expanded. I think the, more, the percentage in our country, for example, mm -hmm. for the people who are dealing with the Internet you know, community, mm -hmm. it will be like more than 90 or maybe 80, but it depends on uh, our uh, activities with them, you know, to improve this percentage, to be awareness about how to use this. My question, sir, are we going to be able to make the balance once again after this, ni uh, this nightmare finishes? I mean, how we can have this balance between the positive use of the Internet and the excessive use of the Internet? Because we will not be able to continue with the same percentage forever. Uh, I think we can make, for an example, like the e-learning would be more cheaper, as I mentioned before, previously, mm -hmm. you know, but it depends on the, you know, uh, the rules, it depends on the, uh, like, choices for them, you know, uh, and it, more, it would be more Isarian and more perfect, you know. And I think that the developments in the infrastructure these days, in specific, with all the efforts exerted by uh, the state, to improve and to modernize the internet infrastructure in Egypt, I think it's becoming cheaper, as you find yeah, yeah, for sure. and easier for anyone. I mean, I should not be a doctor, I should not be a PhD person. I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, uh, as you told me, that it would be better, you know, to have electronic learning, and this is the fact. Actually, in Europe nowadays, yeah. they're dealing with before, before coronavirus. Yeah. Well, uh, Dr. Yahya Zakaria, a member of the National Research Center, thank you very much for being with us, sir. Have a very good afternoon. Thank you very much. And uh, at the end of this meeting, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to you and to all the audience. Thank you, sir. Well, by this, we come to the end of this episode of Cairo Local Time. On behalf of Manal Abdel Karim, Roshan Maghrabi, Dali Abdel Gawad, and myself, Nirmina Abdurrahman, many thanks for watching. Have a very good afternoon.